Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 540 Tuesdays. We would get together, gathered in this digital chapel of pro wrestling talk. To talk professional wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. With me is a wonderful cast of characters from across the um, Northeast, I guess. Uh, First of all, with us, the only Mayhemmer with no, that's right the only mayhemer with its future endeavored letter from the wwe it is mad mike that is me sorg and i am gearing up for comic con motherfucker yes you are yes you are man what was i listening to where they talked about poughkeepsie like left and right oh the brooklyn brawler interview on chris jericho's podcast i i i have that in my queue waiting because i know the brawler Wrestle here a lot. <laughs> oh, a lot. Like, I don't even know how many times you men- mentioned Poughkeepsie. Uh, so, I right there, wait. ground zero of, of the entire history of professional the, wrestling is Mad The Mike. birthplace of Piper's Pit. Yes. And I'm and sure. the birthplace of House of Hardcore. And I'm sure countless other things. How, House of Hardcore. We'll get to that in one second. But first of all, uh-huh. also here on the other the side, on the other side of Pittsburgh, is the Riz. Cheese. Cheese Riz. Hi, Sorg. Don't don't make me change your title on here. <laughs> don't tempt me. Because that's gonna take a while. Don't for tempt me because we we Wheels is, is digging that in the on the Facebook chat right now. Uh, I know I know Wheels is because uh-huh. Wheels likes things that make fun of me. I was gonna <laughs> say be careful where you go with that one. Indeed. <laughs> uh, also with us. Speaking of House of Hardcore, he's going to be here in Pittsburgh at House of Hardcore 20 at the Court Time Sports Center on October 15th. 15th? Have, have you guys noticed the trend lately? It is Andrew Palace. He's back. I'm back. He's back. They found me. They found you. Hey, <laughs> we were talking about some great stories, in front, including um, being bowling balled. On uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold <laughs> this week. You can check out that if you uh, contribute a dollar or more to patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Yeah, I yeah, bowling ball. That's that's all I can say. <laughs> bowling uh, ball. We'll talk a little bit more about House of Hardcore, and, and remember, it's House of Hard- Hardcore dot net. Unless you have safe safe search off, um, don't go to the other one. Um, we're not promoting that. Uh, it promotes itself. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> he checks out with his Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can look us up on and, and subscribe on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio Radio. As well as uh, video versions on the Facebook and I almost said Instagram, the Facebook and the YouTube channels. And actually, we're going live tonight on the Facebook for the first time in a while. You can also join us. The video is usually posted. And when I haven't broken the chat room, it's over at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com around about 10 p.m. Eastern time after uh, you guys are done watching SmackDown Live. We've been talking a little bit. And have some outside talk, a little bit about Comic Con and Lucha Underground and a bunch of other fun stuff going on. And you can also drop us a line at 412 206 WMS0. Daniel Tyre last week actually his voicemail became our big question of the week about aj styles you can go back and listen to that or you can drop us a line at good times good times good times, good times at wrestling mayhem show.com you can support us on the patreon patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show uh if you like to that is fine or please just even share the show give us a rating on any of those places that you may find us and subscribe to us uh, I know Daniel uh, checks us out on the iHeartRadio. I don't even know if they have a rating system on there, but there is. Please five star us or a thumbs up or whatever the case may be. But big thanks to our Patreons. No diggity! Woo! And it was uh, uh, been contributing for a good long time at the one dollar level. Also, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. And uh, and oh, we started this last week. Let's, let's, let's see about this again. Uh, 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 Palace, would you like to read off the rest of the Patreoners? Yeah, yeah. Let's read Edward J. Fasco Burke. Did I read that right? You did better than than than, than Larusso did last week. Yes. Alex Cars, 
Oh, there's, is there Good. something in the way over there? <laughs> that, yeah, there's like a, <laughs> a pool thing. So I'm like, Bobby Snyder. Bobby, 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 Bobby Snyder, Bobby Snyder. Andrew Palace. No, yes, no, no, that's your name. I, that's I'm, I'm, me. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. Okay. Thank Woo! you so much, guys. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show if you'd like to contribute. All right. Let's get into the topics for tonight. First of all, no mercy, guys. Love the game. Yeah. No the mercy. Game's awesome. Sword. Side note. Andre, the giant has purple hair. Side note, uh, this Friday, if you're in the Pittsburgh area looking for group at, uh, I think, 7 p.m., I think we have it for, uh, we're going to be doing an N64 No Mercy tournament. DJ Which I will win. DJ Lunchbox Whoa. will be returning to do commentary on the tournament. We will be, uh, we're, we're expected to broadcast live on Looking for Group's Twitch channel. Look forward to that. It's a $10 entry free. Big prizes, including tickets to the Rob Van Dam Comedy Show at the Pittsburgh Improv coming up in November. $100 gift certificate to IndieWrestling.us or 50, uh, second place is $50 uh, for IndieWrestling.us. So uh, if you guys want to come down, check it out, or just watch the thing, you know, come on down, hang out, check out our good friends out looking for group in the Brookline neighborhood in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Uh, so there's that. And that you're only allowed to use Moolah or May Young. <laughs> I have, I have to make sure they're unlocked on my copy. <laughs> I went, well, I went. well, for our practice round, Sorg, uh, we used Earl Hebner and the Fink. That's solid right. choices. That's right. That's right. That's solid right. choices, I, gentlemen. I'm very sad that the person that won the Chikara fan clay of N64 No Mercy Talent uh, uh, tournament used uh, Chris Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> that, seemed like, that seemed like the wrong place hey, to do that. Hey, Sorg. He just killed the competition. There's oh, that. Oh, oh, too soon. Too anyways, soon. Anyways, no I'm mercy. sorry. I'll hang it up. It's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's why we have a parental advisory at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> we're, oh, yeah, we're, they sorry to, parental we're sorry to the 405. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sorry to the 405 Media Network for carrying us. <laughs> it's probably not the kind of content they were looking for. Um, it's anyways, okay. They probably don't understand the joke. I, I'm sure. <laughs> I think they do. I, <laughs> they don't know. They're not. They're just like, oh, there's new stuff over there. It's all right. Um, no Mercy is this Sunday. It returns. We're excited. Obviously excited enough that we've organized an entire event around No Mercy of the N64 game. Uh, just because that's awesome. Uh, we we uh, I think most of us watch SmackDown. I know Palace and I were watching a little on my iPhone, yeah. <laughs> actually. Um, uh, the main event, uh, which I think is going to just gonna be a blockbuster match. AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, and John Cena. That's right. Ooh, that's uh, all right. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I like the, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Did, did any of you guys watch Talking Smack last week? I did. John what? Cena is just oh my God. ripping everybody apart. Like, I, loved I it. almost want him to win just based on that promo that he cut. It, right. He just got hooked. It, like, like, you got, <laughs> yeah. it, like, can anybody disagree that John Cena deserves like everything he has? John Cena like, is the is man. He, is he like the only guy you can look at and be like, he deserves absolutely everything that he's received in uh, his life right I, now? I, you know the only reason I want him to lose, Sorg? Hmm. You want to know the only reason I want him to lose? Be, be, I want him to go back in the studio. I want another album. <laughs> I think we all no, want No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I want I Bad, Bad to, Man too. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I want this John Cena to ride. Because now he actually has a rapper's lifestyle. <laughs> no, does he? Good get, point. No, does he, he get, actually has a rapper's lifestyle? I mean, have you seen the commercial for Total Bellas? He is a fucking rapper. Oh <laughs> no, no, I, I, I have a. He, he lives with he lives with the girl that he's not going to marry. He's not going to give her kids. He buys no. her Range Rovers. I'm telling you. <laughs> They are the White Hova and B. Oh wow! I have, I have a question R- for, yes. for myself here. Yes. Um, does Bumpy Knuckles and or trademark come back? Oh please! Yes. Oh please! They both must. They both Wasn't must. Was it trademark like like Kurt Angle's buddy in TNA or something? I think no. trademark is the one who does TNA music now. Oh, like oh. he's the CFO money uh, for TNA. Yes. Okay. All right, that makes sense then. Okay, if, cool. if he does TNA music, maybe he shouldn't come back. <laughs> or maybe he should. Uh, 
But yeah, start no, the I flowing. We'll get, start the rumors flowing. I want that motherfucker back in the studio. Because I was listening to some C on Spotify when I was at the gym. I'm like, this is a great album. How about uh, John Cena pairing with CFO Money? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Digging that. I mean, we're, I mean, that's like all the music that we've been bumping lately <laughs> is, is, is their <laughs> stuff. I still get up every morning. I have a notification to remind me to listen to Bobby Roode's glorious theme music to get oh, me going yes. in the morning. I mean, it's, it's the best. So yeah. it's a it's glorious a alarm? Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I wish I could set it for my alarm. Um, but anyways, anyways, can we talk about the talking smack? Yeah, we can. Because <laughs> it's a really fun show. What, what, it's, be- it's arguably better than SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> a little more concise, you know, uh, uh, as, as a point. Uh, they're actually, I believe, going to have a talking smack after No Mercy. I am so happy about that. That's better than Whoa, any. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. That's really good. <laughs> So shit, I might I might skip No Mercy just to watch Talking Smack. <laughs> um, but it it is delivered one of the greatest or uh, several of the greatest moments since SmackDown Live has gone on air. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, SmackDown Live as a show reacts to Talking Smack. The promo tonight, leading into the promo where they actually faced each other, was all of John Cena's promo. From talking smack, yeah. spliced with everybody else. The Daniel Bryan. It's almost like thing. they got the idea of doing a wrap up show from somewhere. Oh, it's almost, it's almost like that. It's almost like they maybe took the idea of doing a wrap up show from someone. I don't know. Say someone that's been doing podcasts on Tuesday nights after SmackDown for oh, roughly ten years or so. I don't know. Uh, just you know, <laughs> off the top of my head, uh, something uh, based at Pittsburgh. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm spitballing here, Sorg. <laughs> Sword, they stole our gimmick. Damn it! Damn it! Um, they stole wait, 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 our fucking wait, 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 gimmick. Whoa, 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 whoa! You worked for the WWE. Ooh. What do you know? It was an inside job. What do you know, Matt and Mike? I, I can't say anything. I've been flagged. You've been flagged. <laughs> I've been flagged. Have you been crisp and wide on the on the on yes. the database? Yes. Oh, Although no, actually, like, my, my uh, name is in the database. Fifteen yards. My name is in the database. I'm not gonna lie. I tagged myself on the draws I was at. <laughs> okay. Of course he did. I did. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Come on now. There's a little piece of Mad Mike in WWE history now. Um. There anyways, really okay. You, if, if you get, if anyone ever gets access to the database, they can look for my name. Wait, wait. What if we search for your name on WWE Network? Somebody test they that probably, out. There. Yeah. Um, they probably no, because have you seen? Have you tried that search engine? It's horrible. No, it's not great. You can't find <laughs> like, horrible. like a, a, looking for the Japanese name. People is not a fun task. <laughs> Sword, you can type Macho Man Ultimate Warrior, and you won't get WrestleMania six. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. that's how, you mean seven? That's how not. No six. Oh no, seven, seven. seven. Oh. You're right. yeah. six, six was Warrior Hogan. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't get six either because Warrior was out there. <laughs> Should still be in the mix, right? Anyways. The point is it's not great. So Anyways, right. Talking Smack, amazing, uh, has Talking. been floating that show. It is the third hour we all deserve of SmackDown. Yes. So. Oh, don't don't say that too loud, though. No, I will not. Because <laughs> take- that, that show is a half hour. There's no wrestling. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's the Tuesday Night <laughs> Titans. You do not need it, a third it's the hour for Tuesday Smackdown. Night Titans, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Don't be that guy, Sork. Don't be that guy. We were talking about how it's funny that SmackDown doesn't have a uh, have a uh, rollover like like Raw does. Don't don't be that guy, Sork. Don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Anyways, uh, no mercy. Uh, uh, so good stuff happening there. We had the return of the Spirit Squad. I think that has definitely stepped up the Miz Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, man, Mike Mondo, what happened, man? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see. Oh, wait, 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 I, did, I, I didn't see. You know, the... I don't feel bad about that. Wait, because Spirit he... Squad's back. Um, yeah, Spirit Squad. Kenny and Mikey came back tonight. What? Oh yeah. my god, poor Kenny Dykstra. They what had happened? Mikey and Mikey. Uh, yeah, he gained some Mondo weight. Well, to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> he went to Mondo Burger, not Good Burger. To be fair, Mikey exactly. did have a pretty severe injury, so that may be contributing okay. to it. 
And uh, I mean, I, Kenny I, looks not, Kenny still looks like he can go. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, what well, well about what about Johnny Jeter? Was he there? <laughs> no, no, no. It was no, just the two just of them. Two. It was just the oh, two of them. Man. They they did a um, a a mock twenty four seven um, the failed career of Dolph Ziggler or something like that, and oh, uh, God. which okay. which 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 ended which showed several uh, you know high points of the Spirit Squad, and to celebrate because it was te- it was technically a Miss yeah, TV I debut. believe, and, and his debut. Oh, As... did they show? <gasps> they did. Oh no! They, did they did show the show caddy. Kerwin, they showed Kerwin White's caddy. Yes, <gasps> I Nick I the caddy Nemeth. Nick the caddy Nemeth. It didn't sink in. That's what I was seeing. It didn't sink in. It was. It was oh like, god! I can't wait to watch SmackDown now. <laughs> oh man! Right. Am I the only one that hopes Ziggler loses? Because <laughs> you want to see him somewhere else. No, no, I want this because he's obviously not leaving WWE. I feel if he loses, I want to see what happens. If he loses, he drops the NXT and 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 is awesome, right? Which actually, dude, dude that would make a lot dude, of sense. Give me Dolph Ziggler versus Nakamura. Yes, oh, please. Oh, that'd be good. Give me that, please. Wow. Hey. Put him back. And Sorg, one of my predictions was that someone from the main roster would go back down to NXT. Dolph Ziggler can get the reboot he needs in NXT, and, and that's the thing. I'm like, like, what are we saying? It, it, it's it's a career ender, right? Like that doesn't mean that that can just mean he's done on SmackDown. That just means he goes to Raw. He goes to NXT. Well, no, Miz said you can't leave and go to Raw. Oh, he did. But still he NXT. Did, he never mentioned NXT. <laughs> never mentioned NXT. See you. Next <gasps> oh, imagine if he's Austin Aries tag partner. Ooh. 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 Eh. Eh? Eh. Why? Eh? Eh. What eh? How, it, eh. it doesn't make sense. Better like than Roddy Strong. Now we're just making noises now. Like, better than Roddy Strong. Like, like, what connection do, do those two have, What connection though? does Ty Dillinger and, and Bobby Roode have? Other than you can say Glorious 10 now. That that's it. That's enough. That's, <laughs> that's all you that, need. That, that's enough. Okay, people can chant. We're good. We're good to go. Um, <laughs> How about the greatest show offs that ever lived? The greatest. Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue though. Oh, and perfectly glorious does. Um, uh, Perfect uh, dirty hashtag glorious please. ten. That sounds great. Glorious. <laughs> 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 the remix is going to be fantastic. Um, anyways, uh, uh, so so th- that'll be fun. Uh, we had a good hide and seek game between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt again tonight. Um, oh no, yeah. that was that was weird. Yeah, it involves a, a shipping container, uh, which is funny because we actually had somebody broadcast from a shipping container on one of the other podcasts in the past. So that was, that was a weird <laughs> throwback. I thought it was kind of like um, that one episode of Silicon Valley where the automatic car. Uh, took off into the shipping container and left the guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm like this. This feels kind of familiar, guys. Um, I, I'm. But we did, we did get another kind of glimpse at Sister Abigail. Kinda. Did, did we? Maybe. Did we, did we? Maybe. Riz, you're paying more attention she, to the storyline than I was tonight. Yeah. Um, apparently, in one of, for some reason, there was a uh, hidden camera in the shipping container for some unknown reason. And uh, like the last time you see the Bray Wyatt hidden camera thing, he's reaching out to some thing and he's oh. saying that it's sister Abigail. Mm. So uh, unless, then next, unless next thing you know, he's gone. Unless he vanishes. Is, it's going to be page. Isn't it? Wonder. <laughs> It's gonna be Paige, isn't it? <laughs> Del, Del Rio's gone now, so they move Paige back to SmackDown just to spite her. She doesn't have to wrestle; she just has to be Rosemary from TNA. Oh, <laughs> oh! Because we're gonna we're gonna do that too. Um, uh, they're already doing that if they're having segments in shipping containers. Work. <laughs> somebody's watching on dilapidated yacht. Somebody's watching on Thursdays. <laughs> dilapidated yacht. Hmm? <laughs> I hope there's a, I hope there's a misshapen schooner. <laughs> I I have a feeling I, 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 I'm a, a misshapen schooner named, named Compton. This is TNA stuff, isn't it? Wow. 
Kinda, okay. yeah. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the Bray Wyatt Randy Orton is their second attempt at doing the final deletion. Their first <laughs> attempt was with, kind of. was with the New Day, and it didn't work out too well. This is their second attempt, and it's a bad haunted house. It is Halloween season, like yeah. So that uh, that doesn't mean that we have to do that. Yeah. I mean, Christmas, like, you gotta like, have Mick like Foley in a Santa costume. You know, Thanksgiving, we don't oppress minorities. Like, <laughs> no, that's a year-round thing in the WWE. But anyways, uh, 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 nah, mm, sorry. Uh, anyways, no, you're right. All right, tag tag team championship. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. We have six matches announced for this, which is minute compared to what we've had in the past for these pay-per-views. Uh, uh, tag Team Championship, Heath Slater and, and Rhino against the Usos. I hope this isn't the end for them. I, I hope Rhino's here as Tag Champion for House Hardcore in two weeks. Um, because I had, that, I had that horrible thought. Um, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be the end. Sorry. Tag Team Wrestling. Tag Team Wrestling. The Ascension is doing stuff. No, they're not. <laughs> They're, don't, stand, they're, standing, don't. they're standing around I, looking at I, I already I already have the hype bros. I don't want the yeah, Ascension this and the three way feud so. between the hype bros, the Ascension, and the VOD villains is amazing. The VOD villains aren't going to be in that one. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. We no. keep forgetting they're there. Um, I, I, I mean, I mean, Aiden English is already is already donning a. Uh, homeless beard so it's not not, it's not, not, good. not looking good it's him. not good it's not good he's gonna get uh, uh unfortunately kevin roast very soon um two women's matches the 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 championship map becky lynch and alexa bliss and of course nikki bell and carmella that does not what no 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 those are gonna be great yeah Th- those are gonna be great the i'm really carmella match yeah yes i'm pumped for the title match yeah. I think the title match is gonna be it's gonna fun. be good yeah. I, I, those those two those are two girls that have been very good but haven't been able to get that like Sasha and and Charlotte yeah. and Bailey kind of spot. So so I think it's going to be really important, especially considering what just recently happened with Raw and uh, we, we, which we talked about last night in the Raw wrap up. Sasha and and uh, 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 Char 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 and Sa- Sasha Sasha um, Char 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 I think seeing a step up between those two, and I think out of the girls that are there on SmackDown, I, you know, Alexa Bliss I, needs to have her breakout moment. Okay, those are the sounds of me like choking do you, on. Do you, do you think she's winning? I don't mm. know. I, I think it's too soon, especially since Becky's kind of lost a lot. Um, in her I think Becky's stuff. got to win in order to set up. The glorious return of Eva Murray. Oh, oh yeah, that's mm. probably that's uh, probably on the on the. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Becky gets the win and Eva attacks her mm-hmm. right after mm-hmm. the match, or attacks her on talking smack. I can see it. I can definitely see it. Which is nice. We get to like have resolution at the pay per view, and then we set up a talking smack. That would ruin talking smack, though. Would it? It would totally ruin it. Isn't that what it's for? Yeah, but not if. Hey, this is what's next. It's like, but that was great with the with Eva Marie. You just don't like your Eva Marie. That Uh, might be true. You have to to love Eva Marie. The 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 Brian (laughs) Kendrick eyes Eva Marie that we have now. Come on, no, she. I mean, she's no pirate, man. She's no. She's no Kendrick pirate. <laughs> she needs to be more piratey. If she came out with like an eye patch, like she, the, the title. she is the Elizabeth Swan to his Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> That's a pirate. She should come out with a pirate reference. hook or something. Like then I, I'll get behind her. Like if she swims out like Paul. What Virgil, if she came out with a parrot? Oh yeah, if she comes out with a parrot, she's trying, and I, I accept it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we can all agree that Eva Marie, if she starts acting more like a pirate, as she should, she she she'd get over. What if she wears one wooden high heel and it's kind of like a peg leg? No, no, no. See that that wouldn't work for me. Nope. 
Nope, absolutely not. We are talking about wrestling angles and not other angles, right? We had Sorg. a wrestler. Sorg. 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 Yeah. Paul Virgil was a thing. Yes. It's canon. I love Paul Virgil. Besides, Paul Virgil. Sorg, you just watched all of season one of Lucha Underground. Tell me this isn't outside the realm of possibilities. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Boom. I mean, the astronaut and the dragon and the... Uh, I, I, Sorg, Wait, there's an Matt Hardy turned into Liu Kang this weekend. What? We'll get to it. When Matt Hardy turned into Lou fucking Kang. Oh, man. If Impact Wrestling <laughs> just turns into World Combat, I am so in. Oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that in a little bit. Of course, No Mercy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with whatever's going on there next week. And then we'll start thinking about how to sell, I guess, because that'll be another two weeks. Oh, because, yeah. Uh, and then we get at least a little bit of a reprieve until Survivor Series. Oh, at least, at least something there's going no, on. Because there's no SmackDown pay-per-view between Hell in a Cell and Survivor Series. Yes. Then we have Roadblock and TLC in December. And Pittsburgh for Roadblock, by the way. Uh, I think tickets just went on sale this Friday. So, Friday. Yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, Friday. in the meantime, you know what? Support, support indie wrestling, guys. Support it. I mean, a lot of these guys, hell, some of these guys show up on Raw and go right back to the indies. That 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 sounds bad. But but literally they are doing that. Anthony Nice, uh uh Rich Juan, I think is even showing Tag up. Tag team Rock champion place. Rhino. Tag team champion <laughs> Rhino next week at House of Hardcore twenty. And of course a lot of those guys uh, uh made a few stops here in the International Wrestling Cartel and a few other groups. Uh, that we have featured over at IndieWrestling.us. Hey, look at that Cesaro guy on the front page. And uh, yeah. and you, you definitely look in there. Uh, oh, like, hey, look, there's that uh, Andrew Palace guy oh, on that yeah, IWC yeah. show. There you go. There's some Sanjay Dutt. There's some uh, all kinds of great stuff going on there, uh, including our Indie Mayhem show is listed. The Around the Indies by our boy Riz. Cheese Riz. Oh, cheese Riz. As well as uh, other great there. releases, including Prime Wrestling, uh, best subs, including a guy, sub guys named Johnny Gargano and, and AJ Styles. AJ and Those guys will never get over. Jimmy Carderis, <laughs> Finding Zach Gowan. There's some uh, hardcore legacies, some hard to find matches from the ECW legends, including uh, Tommy Dreamer. That'll be again at the House of Hardcore 20 here in Pittsburgh. Uh, Sorry, can we have we found Zach Allen yet? We we found. <laughs> I was gonna say we found his mom <laughs> in that video last week, but that's not right. That's not right. Hey, Zach's mom is a really nice lady. Okay, she's a very nice lady. Brock Lesnar was a dick. Uh, <laughs> oh, that video! Oh. Yeah, for beating up her son right in front of her. Oh. That son of a bitch. Uh, so, but you can you can actually I think we do get into that story a little bit on Finding Zach Gallon, the great documentary web of the world's uh, most important one legged wrestler. I think there's a couple of them now, uh, but he's he's got a great story there. Rhino is a part of that actually. <laughs> uh, Rhino, Gregory Iron, uh, a few other guys, um, a part of that. Uh, Truth Martini on that one. Jimmy Jacobs, um, a part of that as well. Uh, so go check it out. Finding Zach Gowan and so many other releases over at IndieWrestling.us. Sign up for the newsletter. Get information on what's going on with the Wrestling Mayhem Show and Indie Wrestling releases. <sighs> Let's talk about Bound for Glory, Mike. What? Riz watched it live. Let's Because I, I, I feel like, I, and I know, Mike, because of the schedule, you, you, you had to watch it a little bit later. Um, and such, but but I yeah, feel like I, I didn't want to have to deal with children for six hours and then watch TNA for it, three because it's, it's eerily similar. I know. Uh, I I I think the best is you know getting the impression from the person that watched it live without any yes. pretense. So so Riz, you watched it. How was Bound for Glory? First half was pretty good. Is it the only pay per view, the only big live pay per view of the year for them now? Yep. Yep. Okay. But like people actually had to pay money for that. And it and barely it, happened. Yeah. It barely happened because the lights turned off in one of the matches. Yep. <laughs> like there, literally there was a off. there there was a chant pay your light bill. <laughs> there was a pay your light bill chant. Dude, and, now, no, 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 do, do you think like the people that showed up were like big TNA Impact fans or were they just people that just wanted to see what happened? It was, it was raining sword. They, they couldn't go on the Harry Potter ride. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, Riz. I, I, wasn't it? Isn't it free to get in too? Uh, it is not free to get into the park. It is free. It's free to get into the, the show. zone to the, the show. Impact. Yes, but 
the, the best thing that happens that happened happened outside of the arena. <laughs> this is true. Well, like, like, like I, that's one of the things I don't. I, like, I, well, or, okay, hold on. There yes. was one other really cool thing that happened. Um, Gail Kim getting the inducted into the yes. Hall of Fame. And and I, I said this when it happened when it when it was when it was announced. I was like, Gail Kim is the first. It should have been the first inductee. Because, I don't know if I'd say first uh, inductee, but she should well, have the been. first inductee ahead of Hulk Hogan, ahead of uh, Hulk Hogan's not in it. Oh, Hulk Hogan's not in it. Wait, is Jeff Jarrett Wait, in it? Of? No, it's Jarrett, Jarrett Angle, 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 Sting. Um, yeah, okay, ahead of Earl, Angle and Earl ahead Hebner. of Sting. Yeah, I don't yeah. think she should and be ahead Earl of Hebner. Sting. I think Sting is what brought TNA up another level. Yeah, a little bit. I, I think even Kurt is. Yeah, well, Kurt Sting is. and Kurt but are, Kim, but. But Gail Kim was there longer and made a name for herself right. on True. TNA. Yeah, True. Gail and Jeff Jarrett should have been knew, the first two. Yeah, you already knew Kurt Angle from WWE. You already knew Sting from WCW. You, and and you know Earl Hebner because he takes ref bumps and does weird things I would with argue, his arms and I, screwed I, Brett in WWE. I would argue a little bit Angle a lot fits because he did a lot – I think not more, probably at least at equal footing. Like he did a lot. I think he's also, but he's a well established name. He's, he was established, but he did so much with TNA. Yeah. You know, and sting did a bit, but I, I, I didn't think sting did a lot of great things with TNA. I'd argue Gail did, but, but without those hurt. established, yeah, Gale, oh, absolutely. Gale, but, but I don't think you can start with Gail. Cause again, she's not, she's but, not the established name. Yeah. You want to get the, you want the yeah. hall hall of fame to mean something. And then it means more when Gail's there. Sorry, pals. Oh, and without the established guys, then maybe Gail Kim wouldn't have got so many looks. Like right. it, it, like her making a name for herself, not as many people would be seeing it because Kurt Angle and Sting, if they weren't on there, then yeah. would it really have mattered they, they as kind of, much? They kind of elevate her. Yeah, they. Uh, help. But it's not. It's not a matter of who deserves it. It's more. Uh, a lot of people deserve it. Yeah, a lot of people deserve yeah. it. But I mean, it's a matter of of again, they do one a year, so it's kind of a long Where, process yeah, well, I mean, here. AJ, like I think if AJ Styles had accepted, that would have made more sense. Um, absolutely, but oh, absolutely. Jeff Jarrett, I think. I think the first, the first two people in TNA Hall of Fame, they should have been inducted together. Should have been Jeff Jarrett and Gal Kim. Okay, that should yes. have that should have been the first pairing because like founder first knockouts champion, right? And then and then you have like two, two corner your Kurt Angles, your Stings, your Team Three D right. stuff like that. Right. But Gail Gail should have been there all a long time ago. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, I I agree with that. I agree with that. Is that all the people that are in it? I think like so. Kurt Angle, Sting, yeah. Jarrett. What about is Team Three D in it? Yeah, Team 3D is in yeah. it. It's uh, Gale, Jarrett, Sting, Angle, Team 3D, Earl Hebner, and I, thi- I think that's it. How the okay. fuck did Her- Earl Hebner get in there? No, I, I don't disagree with Earl Hebner being in there. Earl Hebner should be in the WWE Hall of Fame, but he's not going to be. Like, there's a, there are a lot of referees and ring announcers and stuff like that that should be in WWE oh, Hall yeah. of Fame that aren't. Totally Borash. Mm-hmm. Bor- Borash has a place in there somewhere, too. He's done Oh, yeah. Borash, when Borash he, whenever he's done more. I, I, yeah, Borash has done more that in TNA than people would want to Well, not, not just for. in TNA. He, one, he's the think of the TNA. Borash has done more in T- for TNA than Dixie Carter has. Mm, I'm being yeah. compl- but, I'm being completely serious but about also, that. He, like at the house he, shows, he, yeah. he does everything. But, but 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 he's also like he's not just a TNA guy. Like he produced Forever Hardcore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he like he's he's a guy of wrestling, not of just TNA. Well, that's so. what that's why he got in with TNA because he did Forever Hardcore. Right, right. It makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. This guy too. Um. So what else happened? But, uh, but then there was a bad thing with Gail Kim. Oh no! She won the title again. That's bad. Yes. Yeah. Because she's yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Um, Sorg, when you're in the Hall of Fame, you should be. You should not be wrestling. We have, we, and 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 if you're wrestling, fine. That's up to you. And, and I think in you, several cases, you should not be the focal point of the entire division. In in several Every, cases, uh, I I think that the the Hall of Fame inductees were wrestling on that card. All of them. Yeah. 
All Every single one. Right. All Every single one. Jeff Jarrett, Kurt Angle, Team 3D. Earl they Hubner. were all wrestling on that card. Earl Hebner. Earl Hebner had a yeah. match. Earl Hebner had a... Had a uh, I think Earl ref the main event. Probably. That makes well. I mean, he is the senior official, so because there was a, there was a ref bump, so he ref the main event. Yes. yes. Um. Anyways, the best Earl Hebner was uh, at, at house shows when he had the uh, uh, damn right I did when everybody uh, uh, chanted you screwed. You Brett. still have that he, shirt. So I, he uh, still sells that. I, I bought it for ten bucks and he signed it. <laughs> Loved it. Love it. Love it. Damn right he did. Damn right he did. Hey, whatever <laughs> works for you, right? Um, so, so did anything else? Uh, okay, so of course you won, depending on that, of course, side. Um, so, uh, I, DJ Z, uh, current IWC burr, 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 champion, burr. had his uh, exhibition match, uh, which I understand was <gasps> pretty good. We good. should say friend of okay. the show, like his little air horn. Friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'll leave that to you. Okay. That was a good match, yeah. though. That was a really good match. That was a good yeah. match. That's the only match I saw from Bound of Bound for Glory. You did good. Um, no, you did good no, enough. no. You should watch the Great War. So, <laughs> well, so, yeah. So, yeah, no, I have not been. Th- and this is this is the Hardys and the Decay, right? Yep. Okay, and it was on pay per view, and it was another kind of pre tape ish thing, kind of like what they've been no. doing. No, hmm? no. Yeah, well, there maybe, was some maybe. editing in there. there was, maybe there I'm was, not sure. Uh, somebody, somebody, Unless, somebody, kick this to me so I can I, I, I can get get a viewing of it at some point I, here. I, I think I'll, it, I'll I think it's know. on with spandex. Sork. It's on with spandex. Okay, I believe um, so. Um, did they did they just straight post matches from Bound for Glory pay per view on on YouTube? Did probably. I, did I see the DJ Z match just straight on YouTube? Like officially, that, that's where I saw it. That's where you saw it. That's where yeah, I saw it. Yeah, because he was sharing it right <laughs> so, the next yeah, day. Probably. Yeah, like like a, of a fifty dollar pay per view, and they're just putting it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like so they know, they know, no one buys it anyway. So it's, it's kind of we looked at the numbers and we're like, <laughs> somebody buys well. it. It's on like the, it's on like all the other streaming sites that <laughs> uh, no, we've never that went that on means, ever, ever before, ever. That that means one person buys it. I think his name is Justin. Uh, <laughs> oh man, Justin, <laughs> Justin, um, poor Justin, poor Justin. You know, um, ju- you know Justin right, TV. Before, you know Justin TV before, hasn't been a thing for like two or three years, right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, Sorg. People still get the joke. Yeah. Um, all right, so let, let's get the crap out of the way before we talk about the Great War. All right, yeah. um, show us the bad, EC- and then we'll talk about the good. EC3 oh, wow, lost. Going, yeah, that's bad. Which doesn't make any sense to me. No. Especially reading the spoilers. I'm not going to say what happened, but let's just say it's horseshit. Um <laughs> Now that now that you say that, I think I know what it is. And oh no, you don't. Let all right. I will put it this way. No. And this will be a this is no. Yeah. This is a guessing game. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to name names. Someone who lost a match on Bound for Glory beat Bobby Lashley. I'm not going to say who it is. Maria Canales. Well, if, if, <laughs> <laughs> Riz, Riz, you know me. If that was the case, that would be the best fucking thing TNA has ever done. <laughs> That would have been the best fucking thing TNA has ever done. Maria's like, fine, I'll drop the knockout style. I'll win the world title, motherfucker, <laughs> without taking a goddamn wow. bump. That, uh, that's a statement right there. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, but someone who lost at Bound for Glory beat the unbeatable Bobby Lashley. No, no, Horseshit. You're calling him the wrong name, by the way. No, I'm calling it's, him. It's Lashley. Oh, right. I'm sorry. It's it's the tank that moves like a Corvette. Which yes. doesn't make any sense, um, but uh, and we also had the the crowning of a grand champion. Oh, this this was rough. I, I I've never said this now, before. This is the, the grand champion is the thing where it was kind of a, a points time it's a brawl for MMA all. kind it, of thing, right? It's UFC. It, it's it's worked brawl for all. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, and I've never said this before. Damian Sandow's boring. Yeah. No, wow. no, no, you're right. You're right. Just boring. It, it's wow. it's like it's like WWE got his name and his charisma. <laughs> <laughs> this man made me believe he was Magneto. He made me believe he had the powers of magnetism in a WWE ring, and he could not entertain me in TNA. <laughs> mm. That's rough. 
That's rough. Yeah. I mean, it didn't, it didn't help that Drew Galloway got injured so they couldn't have their actual match. Like he, uh, he went up against Eddie Edwards and said, which was, it was a fine match. It was perfectly cromulent, but God, no one cared. Um, and, and Riz, Riz, uh, what would you, what'd you think about, um, Cody's debut? Cody, no last name given. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Poor yeah. Cody. Poor Cody. Wait, wait, wait so when Co- Cody didn't like what happened with Cody? Um all right. Cody. So <laughs> Riz, Riz, Wait, 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 you, like you, Kato? What? No, like his his name is Cody. Cody. Because they can't use roads. Yeah. Bullshit. Nope, they can't. <laughs> use, they can't use Rhodes, Sorg. WWE knows they, owns the name Rhodes. No, they mm. own the name Cody Rhodes. Yeah, Brandy is known as Brandy Rhodes. So when they <laughs> announce them, they are called Cody and Brandy Rhodes. But technically, his TNA name is just Cody, like yeah. like the guy that lived in a trailer in the show Step by Step. <laughs> Oh wow! Deep cuts. I'm deep cuts. Tonight. That is that is totally accurate. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He kind of dressed like him too. He kind of dressed like the Fonz a little bit. He had the yeah. leather jacket and shit. It was it was weird. It was like leather jacket with the yeah yeah. It was now now why they don't just let him use Coney Runnels? I'll never know. People know who the fuck that is. At least <laughs> at least he didn't show up with a rat in the cage. Okay. Which, um, would act, which actually would I, be really appropriate now, considering who's in charge of TNA. <laughs> yeah, Billy Corgan. Billy Corgan, ironically, not on the show. <laughs> well, he was on the vignettes for Gail Kim and looked very awkward and shaven. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, the, oh. like the human diglet that he is. <laughs> Riz, Riz. Speaking of smashing pumpkins, let's talk about the Great War. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my! It didn't hit me until just now. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and I haven't seen any. Have you seen any of this palace? No. Okay, none. okay. So, so guys, I I challenge you to uh, uh, the great wordsmiths that I know you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be great. Um, um, just just extol the virtues of the great war between the. I'm just gonna and close my eyes and oh. just picture this. Okay. Well, okay. first of all, well, so, well, most people yeah. out there are listening on audio, so it's all really easy for them. <laughs> well, uh, um. Palace, how familiar are you with the Matt Hardy gimmick? Uh, I very familiar. Okay, okay. So you've seen everything but the Great War. Yes. Okay, good. This. Uh, um, so Bound for Glory opened with Matt telling Maxwell a story. All right. About I think, the Great I think War. I saw, I think about I saw Bound for picture. Glory. Yeah. It was a literal picture book. <laughs> okay. A picture. A picture book of every match in TNA. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like with stick fi- with stick figures, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not joking. Find find the opening to Bound for Glory. It, it was it was a picture book, like I'd sell in Toys R Us. <laughs> oh my. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm into this. It was the tale of the Great War. Well, I'm into this the idea. seven deities. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Um, all right, and uh, I want to start by, if this is accurate, and I think it is, I want to give all the credit in the world to Rebby Hardy, and I never do that. This is true. Mm-hmm. I never do this for many, never. many reasons. She's a damn fine piano player. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> she all right. played um, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy to the ring. On a piano, on, it wasn't a, one on those, a grand piano. Wasn't one of those self-doing pianos? Like, we're, we're pretty sure no, this was no, real. it definitely wasn't. It definitely seemed like her. Okay. Like unless that piano had no keys and someone was playing it in the back. <laughs> but I don't yeah. think it was because when um when they were all standing in the ring, like he like he wasn't in character, but Matt just like whispered to Rebby, like "Good job." <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like 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 you could tell it was a very like husband thing. Like hey. Good job, babe. Like, like you <laughs> could tell, it was really, really cute. Huh, um, nice, but yeah, she played like a medley of all of their theme songs. 
Mm-hmm. Like very even touching. even the Hardy Boys theme song from the very hmm. in piano. Like a, yes, a yeah. piano medley of it. I'm trying to think of it. Like, was there like a version one song? Did they have like the? Um, does Does Monster Magnet need royalties now? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if if we could slap a tornado. I could slap a tornado. I'm sure. I'm sure it was probably in there somewhere. But um, yeah. So she played them to the ring. Okay. And um, then Decay came out, and the match started off with all three members of Decay spitting red mist into Rebby's face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that sounds great. Because who wouldn't? Well, it took her out for the whole match because she's not a wrestler. But uh, she's a damn so fine it was piano actually, it was player. Actually, good storytelling. Okay. All right. It was good. It was good storytelling. What happened to Maxwell? Uh, Maxwell was nowhere to be found. Mm. The, I had I had one problem with the Great War. That Maxwell no didn't senior, do a running. There was no se- There was no senior Benjamin. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. have we found him? We found. Uh, him. Yeah, we found him. Okay. He, he's been found. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seems weird. Like, why would they leave him out? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it was weird. They brought senior. They they didn't use senior Benjamin, but they brought the guy from the vignette whose car decay stole. Yeah, <laughs> that was weird because I didn't know who the hell that guy was. I assume it's one of the Hardy's friends. Oh, I just, I assume that's who it is. We're at that point now. Probably like one of the Omega guys that didn't pan out too well. Probably he, he's like the lesser Joey Mercury. Are we sure it wasn't? He's like he's like the uh, the other Manning brother. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so, like he's I'm like so the on. third Olsen before the Avengers movies. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> He, he's like the one Baldwin that's an ophthalmologist. I'm guessing on that point. I don't know. <laughs> His name's Bob. Bob Baldwin. I love, this is the most <laughs> off the rails episode we've done in a long time, and I love it. I and love we're it. still. You know what? And I don't to care. be fair, I want to see how this goes. To be fair, this is this is the Great War, Sork. Um, it. yeah, it's not off the rails because this is what freaking happened. Apparently, yes, it is. So, so, so uh, they they they. Break off into well, three pa- uh, two pairs, right? Yeah. Okay. I was worried at first because they started wrestling. And it just seemed like a normal Monsters Ball match. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It was I like was a- very concerned. Because nobody told me the rules beforehand. And I thought, that, oh, this is just a Monsters Ball no, match. There are no rules. And you can pin war. anywhere, too, which is very imp- comes into very important play later. <laughs> but... um. Like I was really disappointed. I'm like, oh, like, and I was, I was almost taken out of it. I'm like, see, this is the problem. Like the the pre tape stuff is good, but it doesn't translate in ring. And then they left the ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> problem solved. Problem I'm like, solved. Okay, this could get really fun. <laughs> so, uh, Riz, wh- which which segment do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about uh, Jeff Hardy um, and Crazy Steve or Matt Hardy and Abyss? Oh, I need to talk about I need to talk about Jeff Hardy and Crazy Steve. Okay, good. I'll talk about Matt Hardy and Abyss. You can uh, first because I love the, the taking uh, shifts on this. The very <laughs> first thing that you see when they go in the backstage was a bucket, yeah, uh, a mop bucket <laughs> with just the words "Lake of Regeneration." They brought gimmick Lake to the Impact Zone, Sorg. <laughs> and I'm. Uh, <laughs> That's that's all you need, and uh, I I, so, I want I want Sorg. If I ever become a professional wrestler, I'm going to be guilt build from Gimmick Lake. Yes, <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late. Come to the uh, Iron City late. Wrestling Academy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so uh, Steve, uh, I call him Steve. He throws uh, Jeff into the like into a uh, no. He douses over. Him. Yeah, yeah, no. He throws him over the barricade type area and then you don't see him but you just see steve just pour the water on top of him Mm -hmm. and then he disappears vanishes (laughs) completely vanishes does he come back as well again poof (laughs) Uh, don't you're getting ahead of me oh no oh no uh so so steve goes looking for him uh and then all of a sudden he starts getting hit and this is where the uh the analogy came in that i 
had to had to uh, praise uh, Mad Mike on. Uh, he starts getting hit with pumpkins, <laughs> <laughs> literal Just, pumpkins, like out, like, and you can't see literally where they're coming out of from. nowhere. You can't see where they're coming from, but and he's it, being pelted with pumpkins, like like and full I, size I, pumpkins or like like little yes, baby pumpkins. No, like pumpkins, yes. like like hollowed out full pumpkins. sized pumpkins. They're hollowed out. They're hollowed out, okay. so they break. Okay. But yeah, wasn't there a pumpkin involved in an STD match you were in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it got smashed. No, wasn't that the one the, uh, that was filled with like tax? No, that 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 was like no. a fans bring the weapon match with yeah. from a few years no, ago. M- McDowell got hit in the head with it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think he did. I don't yeah. think that went very well for it him. It didn't smash. It didn't. Smash. It just like Ooh. almost just, knocked him it out. It just thumped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. So, so Steve's looking around, and then all of a sudden, I I don't know who this generation of jeff hardy was okay I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was early omega days oh no i'm, I'm about to tell you riz uh, you, you keep going i i have the name i just forgot it okay uh but he comes out it was like with the uh the bug glasses and the weird like jester head like a jester hat and it, it kind of looks like grandmaster sexay fucked 1997 jeff hardy bingo uh <laughs> Who who then okay. uh, turned around and did something to cartoon Harley Quinn? Yes. Um, so they start fighting. And are you keeping up with this? With, with, I am. With I'm, pumpkin. We might have to cancel some other segments uh, of the show offense, for this. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, I, I think they cut over to. Oh, go ahead. What was your that that character's name is Itchweed with three E's. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I not, remember no, hearing about no, it. No, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. It's we. Matt Hardy tweeted it after the show. It is we. itch weed. It says me itch weed with three e's. Everyone, one of hashtag brother Nero's many multiple personalities. He is wow. a unique creature. Wow. We're, we're pulling the, the way the way since, since uh, you guys are I believe it's, it's, Dan, we I believe it's uh, Danielle described for the rest it. of this. What? We don't have popcorn, but we do have pocky. Pocky. Mm-hmm. So so we're just gonna yeah yeah. yeah. Um, she describes it as what if Sporticus and Boomhauer did the fusion dance while tripping balls at a rave in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> and, and ladies and gentlemen, ladies and else? gentlemen, oh, no, uh, we forgot about Rebel. No rebel, Reb, not rebel. Uh, what the fuck is her name? Rosemary. What the fuck is her name? Yeah, Rosemary? that one. Yeah, who met? Uh, who met a uh, nice little fate with? Uh, that comes. That comes later. Face. I know that comes later. That comes later. That's, that's, later. Outside. that's outside. That's outside. That, that is outside. But that's in the Matt Hardy Abyss segment. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Because at hot one tag, point, hot tag. At one point, um. Crazy Steve sends Rosemary away. He's like, "Go aid Abyss. I have Je- I have this." And that's where he gets beat up by Itch Weed. Apparently, Weed. Yeah. Um. So Matt Hardy and Abyss, we don't see them for a little bit. Uh, Jeff, Jeff and Steve are fighting in the bowels of the Impact Zone, and then we cut to the front of Universal Studios. <laughs> Or, you know how he knows it's the front of Universal Studios? Because it's the giant fucking sign that says Universal Studios. So it's the most <laughs> iconic view of right Universal there. Studios they could have no. possibly made. Nope. No. Zorg, the least iconic <laughs> view because they cannot use any of that licensed material on their pay-per-view feed. <laughs> so it's not in front of that big globe that everyone knows so well. It's just in front of a giant sign outside of the parking lot. That says Universal Studios Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> so they're fighting in the parking lot, and um, this is when Rosemary comes back. But luckily, to the rescue comes Vanguard One. Yes, <laughs> Vanguard One targets Rosemary, says initiate poison mist protocol, and sprays Rosemary in the face. <laughs> A drone sprays her in the face. Um, Makes sense. And, and and then Vanguard's revenge. Uh, Vanguard's revenge. Yes, and he flies away, never to be heard from again. Um, 
And Abyss is taking uh, taking it to Matt Hardy. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, actually, no, hold on, I missed the part. Rosemary, that's how Rosemary gets taken out. That's how the stakes get even. Rosemary initially comes in as Abyss is beating up Matt Hardy, and um, Rosemary says something to the effect of, "If you want to truly delete." his um, earthly vessel. You don't use your hands. You use your girl. And she hands him Janice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's where that the guy who That could have gone a, a direction. Oh, oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait, Sorg. It does um, go It does go a direction. But uh-huh. I think it's uh, Sorg, you remember the King of the Road match? Yes. The WCW one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going there, Sorg. <laughs> We're which, going King of the Road on this. And it, was, it, it, was, it went faster than the actual truck that was carrying the King of the Road competitors. Yes. Um, so the guy uh, with the pickup truck pulls up and saves Matt Hardy because Abyss once threw him out of his car and stole his truck. Even though he has another truck. Yeah. So Abyss drops Janice for a second, dispatches of the uh, the, the truck guy. Then Matt Hardy takes it upon himself to leap into the bed of the truck and throw a fireball at Janice. He literally has his hands out like he's Liu Kang with two mm-hmm. fireballs in his hand after he chanted something to the seven deities <laughs> and threw a fireball at Janice and Janice spontaneously caught flame. Mm-hmm. This is a wrestling match. That was the end. No, 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 God, no. no God, that's, Sorg. That's not even close to the end. Sorg. Okay, okay. And then, and then all the Hold stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I need more Pocky. Pocky. Okay, um, get some more Pocky. Then, then all the stuff with Rosemary and Vanguard One happened to even the odds. Mm-hmm. Um, Matt Hardy then loaded Rosemary into the truck and loaded Abyss in the back of the truck and drove back to the impact zone. You, oh no! What, did the guy drive back to the impact zone? No, I think he did. Okay, because there, there was fighting. Because there was fighting on the bed. Of the oh, truck. No, there was fighting. That's right. There so was I, fighting on the I back assume of it. I assume the guy drove back with Rosemary in the front seat, and Matt Hardy and Abyss were fighting in the bed of the truck mm-hmm. as the guy was driving back to the impact. And zone. the first two that make it to the ring, uh, well, first they're outside. They're, they're still doing their little thing on the outside of the ring was uh on the outside of the arena was um what was his name again wait oh it's it's weed and crazy steve yes now now comes the part where somehow uh (laughs) well it's weed went super saiyan yeah, itch weed went super saiyan. Yeah I I hope this is this is entertaining to me having not watched this. And, Palace, and then, and Palace and then, I hope this is entertaining to you. I hope this is entertaining for you guys out there. It's very interesting. It's it, it trust me, it's interesting. We are just giving a play by play of this thing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he He grabs the, the an umbrella. umbrella. The, umbrella the umbrella opens up. And then you pull back open he closes it back up. And it's Willow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's how they both get back into the ring. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys, I I can't take any more. I, I can't take any more of this. I have to yeah, watch this. Yeah. Honestly, better, it's, it's actually that it, hockey. So Sorg, Willow brings Crazy Steve back to the ring. Um, Crazy Steve gets the upper hand, throws Willow against a steel steps, and as he's going to get, I believe, another table, um, you Willow disappears. Yeah. All that is left is his coat. Wait, in the ring? In no. The ring. no outside, it, the outside, ring. outside the ring. Willow disappears. Okay. Uh, they cut away a little too quickly because you can see Jeff Hardy rolling under the ring. But shh. <laughs> okay, it's, it, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining the magic. Hey, I'm explaining hey. the magic. Oh, no. This is perfect for TNA. Wheel just posted this in the chat, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be... Guess what I'm watching when I'm editing this show. Yes. Um, all um, right. So Bound for Glory, apparently it was the most magical thing ever. Uh, we didn't even finish the match. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it's... Hon- I, honestly, though, it, it just ended with like a... It, it was... It ended like a Monsters Ball match. 
Yeah, basically, okay. uh, Rebbe came back. Uh, she got her revenge on Rosemary. Jeff Hardy uh, was granted a one-time pass for his spot monkeying. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hardy's words. Yeah. Verbatim. <laughs> Matt Hardy's words. <laughs> and Jeff, and Jeff Swanton crazy Steve through the table. That was the best match on Bound for Glory. I think yes. I just found a new show title. Stunt monkeying. Stunt monkey, that funky monkey. Guys, well, I'm glad that you opened my eyes to TNA uh, this week. Uh, so just we'll, for that match. Just for that match. And it's really all you need. It's uh, really all you need. Check out DJ's Z's match for sure. Just two matches. Friend of the show. We're going to come back. It'll be the big question. In the meantime, please visit our friend Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, PGH underscore Slice on Pizza, the, uh, um, our friends that are uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. That's PNC, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, Carnegie PA, down on Main Street, right here on Beachview, along the tracks. They're good people. They're good pizza. Please visit them. Let them know the Mayhem Show has sent you. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are here. The crew, Mad Mike and Poughkeepsie, New York. The Riz here in Pittsburgh and in the studio. Former Super Indie Champion showing up at the House of Hardcore 20 here in Pittsburgh, PA. Ah, It's Andrew Palace. Woohoo! Are you okay? You you've you've had the break to digest their their retelling of Bound for Glory. How 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 are you okay? Well, and, and the pocky that I gave you. Well, the pocky was delicious. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going to need a therapist. Okay, we know some. We all do. There's a couple on the. But network. I think I'm going to find one. After I see that match, because I need to see it now. And in the meantime, uh, uh, Wheels is in in the the chat live here at live dot or I'm sorry live dot He uh, he he watched the the Great War while they were discussing it. Because <laughs> that was pretty much pretty much right. Uh, You're so, welcome for the free watch party. Wheels. There you go. There you go. And with that, let's uh, go to the big question. And I believe Mad Mike has something for us. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about Matt Hardy, and a lot of people think that this might be the greatest version of Matt Hardy we've ever seen. Uh, maybe not in the ring wise, but definitely creatively. And it's honestly hard to argue that. So, my big question this week is what is your favorite all time like run of a wrestler, of a creative guy, a commentator? What have you? The greatest run you can think of. Wow. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Not bad, huh? That's not bad. That's not bad. I, su- I surprised you with this. If, if you guys want to think, I can go with mine first. If you yeah, want. go ahead. All right. Um, Shawn Michaels post-2002. 2002 until his retirement with The Undertaker. Like the back injury, Shawn Michaels? The post-back injury. Like, like, co- the, like coming back, coming back at SummerSlam until the Undertaker retired him. Like, like the uh, every move hurts his back, even though it doesn't affect affect his back. Just, no, uh, I mean the taking eight years off from wrestling and coming back and being fucking somehow better than he was before. Um, giving five SAR matches almost every single pay-per-view having the amazing feud of Chris Jericho over his wife's eye um, the awesome feud of the Undertaker I don't even really need to talk about that because that's been talked about to death uh, the I'm sorry I love you of uh, the feud of Triple H hell he made Randy Orton look really good he had a match with Hulk Hogan where he sold everything like he was in the goddamn final deletion like <laughs> <laughs> I mean Shawn Michaels post-2002, like, when Shawn Michaels left in, at WrestleMania 14, most everyone agreed Shawn Michaels was one of the greatest wrestlers alive. And that he retired, he's like, okay, Shawn Michaels, thank you for your service, you know, you're done. He came back and was somehow better. Because he had his mind right, 
He had his life right, and he was able to just focus on his performance. And he did ev- like his matches with Kurt Angle, someone who he mm-hmm. in in 1998 would not have been able to have as killer matches with as he did. He even made guys like Shelton Benjamin look good. The only thing people remember about Shelton Benjamin is the one time where he, where Shawn Michaels super kicked him jumping off the top rope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, and he even he even brought back DX in a family friendly manner with a midget. That <laughs> happened. That was a thing. That we happen. shoved. They shoved Vince McMahon's ass into Vince McMahon's head into Big Show's ass, and yeah. he kicked Stan. <laughs> who, uh, by the way, is now perfect. Yes. He kicked Stan and turned him into a perfect 10. That's how good Shawn Michaels was at this point, you guys. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right, I got one. I got one. All right. Um, Eddie Guerrero. Oh, that, that was good. That, did you see? Did you see <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go ahead. Go ahead. It All would right. be Go a ahead. big question if someone else steals someone. Well, an well, then help me out here. Because, I mean, I mean, he's a guy... This is a guy that I saw like early on in WCW. I didn't know anything about his ECW run, right? And I'm like, who's this guy with the mullet? You know, yeah. like like he didn't look like anything, right? And like he looked like vanilla Mexican jobber number thirty. Yeah. Uh, when when you first saw him, and then he changed and had more attitude and line cheating and stealing coming through with the radicals, and it was like okay, but but then like he got his arm broken in like the first match on WWE, right? Or WWF. Uh, coming around to the Mamacita and the lie sheet steal and 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 teaming with Chavo and those amazing vignettes they, that they did then, and uh, you know all the way through to just doing great stuff, getting the belt, carrying SmackDown, great matches with JBL, bleeding almost bleeding to death in a match with JBL. Yes. Um, I mean, it, it, it's you know to, to you know unfortunately a tragic end you know but even even after that just like having a tag team partner versus tag team partner match against Rey mysterio that i think opened and stole the show at wrestlemania, at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh yeah so i mean that it, it's it's you know that's it, definitely one that, that i recall and loved following through the entire thing all right We'll okay, give, we'll, I got one. We'll give Palace some time since I stole his. Or yeah. Do you want anything to add to that at least? I don't know, it, kind of what you said. Like he went from being a guy where you're just like, okay, he's just another guy, really. Like he's not. Nothing... WCW had so many random people in the yeah. low card. I mean, yeah, he did some crazy stuff, but a lot of people in WCW did some crazy stuff. Right. But yeah, he just started to evolve into like this main event guy where it's like, like you, like his WCW days. Who would have seen him being like the top, you know, the top guy? And uh, yeah, Eddie Guerrero was the man. Love that guy. I'm, I'm surprised we've spent so many time, so much time talking about runs, and none of us have said we said him in the beginning. Basic thugonomics, John Cena. Mm, that's a good one. He got his FU from from that ma- from that generation, mocking Brock Lesnar. He of wrestled a damn good match against Undertaker, mm-hmm. and he built himself up to what we have today. So uh, honestly, John Cena, and also he's a pretty damn good rapper too, as we found out, uh, a wordsmith, <laughs> a, a, an an entrepreneur for himself. Uh, not, as well. a, not a half bad actor either. Not a half bad actor. Eh. He's no rock. Uh, but he's no rock, but he's good. He's no rock, like but he's he's train rock light. He's a train wreck was hilarious. He was the best thing in train wreck. Yes, he was. The best this thing. This is true. Yes. Ooh, wow, no. LeBron was pretty close. LeBron was second mm. in my eyes. Le- second. LeBron, w- close. LeBron was when he was like, yo, man, did you get those digits? And being really cool. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the LeBron cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. By so, way, so Riz, what what era do you think Cena changed? Do you think he changed kind of when he went to Raw? Oh, I think once once he beat JBL, he started okay. to change. Okay, like you, you can see it. 
you can see he started to change into more of a face than a character. And, and that's one of the things that happens to characters. Like they, if they excel as much, they turn more into a face. Maybe, maybe a face that could kind of run the place. Run the place. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, 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 remember, Triple H was Hunter Hearst Helmsley for the longest time. And then all of a sudden he started turning into Triple H and then he started doing what he does now. And, and this was a period running, actually running the place. This is the period where like it, it wasn't entirely clear like there was WWF E but <laughs> like the Stone Cold Rock replacements haven't really been set at this point, right? Like mm-hmm. there's a certain point where where like Triple H could be uh, arguably that the top guy, but he's more of a Ric Flair than a than a Stone Cold, right? Yeah, like he's the great foil, and there was no great good guy to really step up to him. They were trying to make him, right? Well, that's because Triple H kind of beat all of them. Well, <laughs> or, or, they, or they were looking for the right guy to hit. Right, right, right. Well, which well, then we ran through Goldberg and Scott Steiner. Like that was a bad year, and, and Kevin Nash and Booker T, Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash, and there was like and Chris Jericho. Right, right, right. So, so there and was, uh, and Chris Benoit. I'll say it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess Benoit was. It was supposed to be Eddie and and, and Chris, and and you know that went the way it, it did. Um. So I forgot what the point was. I was getting to Palace. Have you come up with a <laughs> it replacement? Was, it was a yeah. transitional period yeah. to get from Rock yes. and Austin. Yes. To and, and Cena was the and first one to kind of um, rise above. Sorry. He rose the, above all the hate. So the above. ruthless aggression. Yeah, ruthless aggression area. Well, you yeah. know, you know, <clears throat> for the uh, for the week that we're gonna have DJ Lunchbox back in a Wrestling Mayhem show run uh, event, we are talking a lot of good things about John Cena. <laughs> it's for you. That's your for you, buddy. It's for you, Andrew yeah, Palace. Sorry. Andrew, Andrew Palace, do you have you come up with yeah, something else that yeah. just completely stole the shit out of yours? <laughs> No, it's it's cool. It's cool. I, I I had another one. Um, I don't know really is where to start with him, but Chris Jericho. I mean, he's constantly yeah. changing, constantly relevant. Just like he can always, like he's been around for so long, but he can always change and adapt. And like the stuff he's doing right now, he's the guy with the scarf, like this prissy friend of Kevin Owens. You know. <laughs> Like, he, he's like the crybaby from WCW, yeah. but the pompous jerk hole in WWE. Yeah. Combined. Yeah. He constantly yeah. evolves and his hair changes he's got every a list now and again. then. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And there's and he had so many good sto- – like he always has good storylines. Um, like him and Sean had a good storyline. Uh, uh, Suit Jericho. Yeah, My yeah, favorite. suit Jericho. <laughs> suit, big word, suit Jericho. Where he came out with like little lips, like, <laughs> like walked out, looked. Yeah, yeah, like the, the like like a lot of his attitude is like even now he's doing a little bit like like he's pursing his lips, going you know like yeah. Mm, 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 well, that that's what he did in '98. Mm-hmm. Like if you watch his intro on Raw, mm-hmm. like the second he turns around, he has his lips pursed, like he's about to kiss the air that he's about to speak <laughs> like <laughs> breathe it in man and a, and a so l- so andrew do you think do you think this is jericho's best era like that what he's doing right now like, like right now like like i'm the best friend scarf wearing john bon jericho no that, i mean i don't think it's not my favorite chris jericho it's up there though okay. it, right. it's up there yeah mm-hmm. that's no, where that's where i'm at too but uh I, i'm gonna mention some side notes here um, I was thinking, uh, my, like my favorite, like little run of a wrestler. One of my favorite little runs was, uh, Cody Rhodes when he had the mask. Oh, I yes. love that. That was Just so good. Cody Rhodes was great. That was, I love that. And, uh, and a run that I wish would have happened, but I, I wanted to see Mordecai more. <laughs> <laughs> well you'll get your opportunity at house of hardcore when kevin thorne's on the card <laughs> be like what's up mordecai oh, uh, i'm sure he'll appreciate that i don't know if i, I do that i <laughs> really hope i'm around when you introduce yourself to mordecai i'll make sure you are i'll look at you and be like <laughs> Zor, Zor, it's mordecai get this on tape, Zor. Zor. 
Hey, Mordecai. Oh, what I'm, happened I'm to not, you? I'm not filming Saturday that, or that Saturday that I'm aware of. Uh, so. no. no. Also, no. I, I want to say Bobby Heenan. As soon as they signed mm. Ric Flair. Oh, didn't think about that. That was good. wow. Yeah, like that. That was I. I thought of Shawn Michaels first, but I'm like, if I if I don't go first and someone takes Shawn Michaels, I want to mention Bobby Heenan mm. because like, Bobby Heenan, as soon as they signed Ric Flair, was on another level. I mean, not fair to Flair was yep. his baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that was that was on next level shit. Like seriously, the '92 Royal Rumble is just a course. In wrestling announcing, it really is. Because if you listen to it, Heenan is very clearly biased. Like, he wants Ric Flair to win. He needs Ric Flair to win. But he puts over every other person. Like, he's every time mm-hmm. someone comes down to that ring, he thinks this is going to be the guy to take down Ric Flair because they are that good. He's like, Haku, oh my God, this is it. Oh no, this is it. Big boss man comes out. Oh, you can't let that hillbilly w- beat you, Rick. Like every single person that comes out is a threat to Ric Flair, so he puts them over the moon. Like he put over Jerry Sags. Sags was in the match for less than two minutes. <laughs> like, like that's a real thing that Bobby Heenan was able to do. It, it was just masterful. Absolutely masterful. Well, everybody, please let us know what's your favorite run of a wrestler. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good discussion. So many people here. we haven't mentioned. Yet. Yes. So, many. so uh, I think it's time to find out what you guys learned from wrestling this week. Who wants to go first? <laughs> I'll, I'll go first. Sorry. Okay. I I learned that um, in addition to appearing in the Netflix Glow series. I think Awesome Kong is also looking to reboot 227 because she looks exactly, exactly like Jack Hay. Hmm. That yeah. is an obscure as hell reference, but I know exactly yep. what you're mm-hmm. talking about. Mm-hmm. I haven't if seen you, Awesome if Kong. If you take a look at enough. Awesome Kong's tweets and then compare it side by side with Jack Hay, I'm not sure if she's looking to reboot 227, if she's looking to reboot the movie Ladybugs. I'm okay with either. Um, I just want to so, see it happen. Who's playing the Rodney Nangerfield part? Ooh, that's a tough call. Um, oh, wow. That, okay. I, I no, see no, no, no. It has to be a comedian. It has to be a comedian. Um, oh. You know what? Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Seinfeld? Seinfeld. Jeez. Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know why. That went in direction. Works. Let's see. For those on I video. Learned, yeah, I, 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 I can see that. that. Moving on. Uh, I learned that my... Whoa. Interest in uh, WWE video games, in- including the WWE 2K17 coming out, has dwindled every time I see the commercial. And I'm looking at it graphically and picturing uh, the image of uh, WWE 2K16's Renee Young and how bad that was. Hmm. I'm, gl- I'm glad I so skipped the year, Riz. I'm glad I skipped the year because I'm actually excited for this one. Honestly, honestly, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. It just it doesn't it, it it's probably just the beta that it looks weird, but the graphics could use some work. Not not a lot from the 16, but maybe by the a way, bit more. the um the um the downtown video mm-hmm. commercial That's really- it's is, really is like one of the best commercials they've done in a long time. <laughs> just like, just like Dean Ambrose tossing a guy in a dumpster is just like tossing my, a dead body. It's, it's my it's favorite Al moment. Del Rio almost getting attacked to a bar. Not like that would ever happen in real life. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus! Womp womp. <laughs> First it was Kim Kardashian, then it was Alberto Del Rio. Aww. Hey Zeus! Hey Zeus! You stabbing bastard! That the, <laughs> sorry, Kim Kardashian. What a fucking story! Wow, uh, anyways, it's a work. It's a work. It is. It's a, uh, it's a sure. work. It's all a she, work. She's going to appear on the next like TNA show. You wait, Andrew Palace. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Well, I, I learned some recently that I shouldn't skip out on TNA pay per views because exactly. I need to see the, I need to see this final battle final or was it final? <laughs> hey, the great you only got war. one a year. The great, so. the, great oh. the Great War. 
The great final war. Final that one. I need to see it. I didn't even think about it, but now YouTube or wherever I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. And I'm gonna watch it. And I also learned that Cena is still awesome. Why? Because yeah. it's John Cena. And John Cena, awesome. All the time. Rise right? above hate. <laughs> Rise above hats. <laughs> <laughs> this, this show is dedicated to DJ Lunchbox. By it the way. is. It really is. Yeah, we I mean, I you. talked about Awesome Kong. You guys talked about John Cena. This really is a love letter to DJ Lunchbox. We all need. We all need to just figure out something about Samoa Joe, though. Oops, well, uh, no, Han, Han. I'll just mention this. Saga's awesome. There. Now, now it's full DJ. And Lunchbox. it's all around. Okay. Uh, from the Twitter, uh, Eric out there says he learned that WWE is much better than TNA, but I already knew. <laughs> all right there you go <laughs> boom uh what did i learn from wrestling this weekend thank you for the likes out there uh bobby Bo- bobby fj town one bobby had a good week first of all <laughs> oh bobby bobby, bobby learned for you bobby learned that chris de joseph the uh, uh another former member of dx technically um friend of the show friend of the show, <laughs> friend of the show. uh <laughs> apparently on a saturday night in la he watches us on his tv uh, as he as he hi. put out a tweet. Hi, of, Chris Joseph. Hi, Chris. Um, not this show. It's the other I'll show. S- I'll see you this weekend, yeah. sir. <laughs> see you this weekend. There you go. Um, I finished season one, buddy. Uh, but anyways, so 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 there's a picture of of Bobby F J Town on his on his big TV in his living room, and he's watching the Midweek War. Not even like the 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 produced show that this is. Like the Midweek War. That's the Google Hangout. So. Uh, but of course, it is about his show. Um, and uh, Bobby learned that Melissa Santos knows I exist, and I don't know how I feel about that. Because <laughs> Bobby, she, I'm going she to likes the tweet your number this weekend. Well, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, well, Alex, Alex got to spend the entire taping next door. So we yeah. still haven't seen you yet, Sorg. Yeah. Well, I don't think you're going to see me for a while. I'm pretty sure. It's fairly late season. I, I, don't know. I was sitting there. I was sitting there trying to like think about like, wait, what did I see? Um, I don't know because <laughs> it's been a little bit, right? I remember I just like saw awesome stuff, and like, I remember like who I remember one match in particular, and in 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 that. But that, Lucha Underground, uh, for those who don't know, okay, no, no, more but, no more spoilers, no more spoilers. Man, <laughs> checker guy. Uh, anyways, Mike, <laughs> are you doing okay with checker guy over there? <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, I don't want to talk about it right now. You don't want to talk about it right now. You sure? I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. He hasn't debuted yet, so um, my 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 dreaming has been unimpeded. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not looked at the pictures you've posted because I know you've been trying to um, invade my mind space, and my you're favorite, definitely not there. My favorite is the one where you're hanging out someplace and checker guy is just right behind you. Like while <laughs> yeah, you're, while yeah. You're no, a I drink. I fully expect you to rip pictures of me from comic-con and do that again well well now i will because i forgot shit. about this for a while so uh shit 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 i learned <laughs> i learned that everything's better when you when you drop the drop the blue pants um as mike knows uh, early on uh, uh, leave a bait what leave a bait no 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 no, no. Not that blue pants. Why are you wearing pants? pants? Yeah, I was like, wait, where's this going? Uh, well, so I, I had more recently seen like. Some, Why aren't you wearing pants? I know where it's going. I just wanted to make a blue. Some pants later, pants. some later, Mil Bertes and, and and Drago kind of stuff and Lucha Underground between like watching the beginning of season two and what I uh, had seen apparently of season three, and um and, and and then to see the introduction of again Drago and Mil Bertes and I'm like, why is he wearing like blue corduroy pants? This is not scary. <laughs> um and 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 of course what happens in rebirth you know uh, with both of them actually um and I'm I'm really happy to to get to those points so much so that you called him Bill Martes for Bill Mortes <laughs> Bill, Bill Mortes. Mortes the corduroy king <laughs> yes the uh Bill, Bill Mortes is the guy who who just sits at the copier just goes and just does the uh, whole uh, Rob Schneider stick making stick. copy. Hey, like, oh, Sorgatron, shut. we're out it's of like, toner. So, so oh, does, shut the does, fuck up, no, Bill. It, so is, it, does Bill. that turn his name into Bill Deaths? At that point, does that translate? God. Is there the Bill of Death? The Bill of Death. Yeah. Okay. That works. Oh, it God. could be Phil Marte. Uh, anyways, guys, wrestling mayhem show. 
Uh, let us know what you learned on the Twitter at Mayhem Show. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us in the in the uh, Facebook, in the chat, anything else. Ask Mike if he can get me the Toy Tokyo exclusive Clear Space Ghost Pop. No, Bobby, no. <laughs> no, Bobby. <laughs> you, your, your Funko Pops are spilling over that 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 Krista Joseph is like eyeing your Funko Pops on his big screen TV when he was watching the midweek war. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, I'll put it to you this way. You're gonna have to pay me a pretty penny for me to wait online for three hours. Oh no. No. Go have fun pretty at penny, Bobby. Don't wait and buy things at Comic Con. So much more, better ways I, to do that. Well, I, I have buy, a, I buy things. Oh, I, I, I have I, a story I, when I, we get off the I, air. I missed I missed this. he said after the show ask him. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be after this Bobby, it, see, oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I know you're trying to sign. Bobby, you have my information. <laughs> you know, we we're all on the Slack. We all have yeah, like, like like some of us have each other's phone number, and he tells me in the public Facebook chat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, um, like Bobby, you, slide into my DMs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Andrew Powers, did you have some fun? I did have some fun. What's coming up at House of Hardcore? Um, lots of hardcore, awesome action of wrestling and Mordecai and and Mordecai. Mordecai will be there as Kevin Thorne. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, you're gonna yeah, have Mordecai. you're gonna have um EC3 facing Hardcore Holly. Holy crap! Yeah, holy crap! I, I'm excited for that. You're gonna have Swoggle, aka Horn Swoggle. Boom. Don't tell them to be. <laughs> AKA Vince McMahon Jr. Um, A- AKA go- the big deal. You're going to have Team IWC featuring me, McChesney, and uh, <laughs> Jimmy Vegas. <laughs> and we're going to face Team The Bar, which is RJ City, Dylan Bostic, and Wardlow. I have to say Wardlow like that. The man, um, the man, the man with Warren, Warren his name. His name. With D-Lo in his name. The man they, with they, D-Lo they, in They his sound name. like a bunch of tools. Mm. Like yes. By the way, Sorg, uh, Jinx, you owe me a pop. And the match that, well, other than my match, that I'm really looking forward to is Rhino versus Sammy Callahan. Rhino's last uh, match in House of Hardcore, maybe on the Indies, I'm not sure. Um, but if you think about it, it's, it's the Man Beast Rhino versus Space Cat. Like anybody that follows Sammy Callahan's stuff, it, Bobby, th- this is the battle of the two most ferocious animals in wrestling: the Rhino and the Space Cat. You got to see it; it's going to be out of this world, literally. <laughs> ah, see it, Space <laughs> I, Cat, because space is out of this world. I I see yeah. what you did there. I see what, I, what you did. I I'm saw so it. clever. I saw it. So, and Tony Nice has been doing the cruiser weights. Uh, the former Bold Dempsey. I mean, just stars uh, current and past of WWE, TNA, and and of course the uh, local the IWC. Um, um, I think it's a, a pretty cool mix of stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, a great lineup of people on there involved in that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hearing a lot of great great things about House of Hardcore. Uh, we were watching some stuff last week of uh, Rey Mysterio doing some crazy stuff. Uh, so go check it out, houseofhardcore.net, iwcwrestling.com if you're in the area, or check out the show afterwards. I'm sure they're probably going to film for DVD or something uh, at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, they, yeah, actually I see their, their past shows are there as well. So uh, keep an ear out for that. Thank you so much, Andrew Palace, for joining us mm-hmm. at the Andrew Palace on Twitter. He's yes. also on the Facebook. And the Instagrams. Yep. Look at pictures of what I eat. It's check, fun. Check out his matches, <laughs> VOW and IWC, over at IndieWrestling.us. Any other promotions you're popping up in? Um, Just everywhere and anywhere. Nothing in particular. Just, you know what? You know, um, Premier Championship Wrestling, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Turner's Hall, man. Turner's Hall. The, the, the legendary Turner's Hall, from what I understand. Yeah, big things are happening. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Book this man. Book this book, man, promoters. Book, book him. Yeah, he won't Book. be disappointed. Yeah, uh, hopefully not. Book hopefully him. not. Book him. Until he did that thing there. <laughs> At Mad Mike on the uh, 4883 on the Twitters. That is me, Sorg. Uh, if you see me at New York Comic Con, uh, I will either be dressed in plain clothes as the 11th Doctor or as Dr. Thorable. That's going to be a real thing I'm doing. Amazing. But you say hi, Mad Mike, and you get to chop me for realsies.
Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, the Riz. She's Riz. Hi. I'm She's... doing Riz things at Riz Plays Games. Yep. On Twitch. Uh, also, I downloaded, uh, I re downloaded Destiny because mm-hmm. I, I really wanted to play this again. Uh, and I remembered how awesome my one character looks. So I'm going to play some of that mm-hmm. soon on my Twitch, which is Riz Plays Games. All one word. I think there's three capitalizations in there. I'm not sure. Uh, but take get a look out. And also, uh, I will drop the uh, Indie Mayhem show. Oh, not the Indie Mayhem show. The Indie Wrestling.us around the Indies soon. There you go. And check out everything WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Support us on Patreon. Subscribe to the show. All the links over there on the website. Um, and I think we just ended one, but there's a, another spread shirt sale. So if you want to represent Wrestling Mayhem Show with a T-shirt, uh, we don't get a, much, a lot of money off of that. That's just so you guys can have something. Mm-hmm. Um, like I, 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 we might get we might get a buck or two off of those. I I, I really it, it, it's not a money maker. It, it's just if you want to represent a little bit. Uh, uh, pick those up. I think it's going to be fifty percent off here in the coming days. So uh, we'll, we'll be setting that up and getting out to you guys on the social media. So watch the Twitter and the Facebook for that. Thank you everybody for joining us. See you in the House of Hardcore. I did uh, the, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. You guys are cool.